Today we are talking about terminal speed. Terminal speed is the resistance equal to weight or gravity. For example, today we'll be using a skydiver. Let's say his name is John. When John jumps out of a plane, the weight or gravity is stronger than the air resistance, so he starts to accelerate towards the earth. As he accelerates, drag gets bigger until both forces are balanced, and he is travelling at a constant speed. This is called terminal speed. Here he cannot speed up anymore. When he opens his parachute, the forces become unbalanced again. Drag is the stronger force this time, so he starts to decelerate. Eventually, the forces will balance out again, and he reaches a new, slower terminal speed. This is because his surface area is bigger. The most common exam question would include this graph. The way to get marks for this graph or this question is to talk about the different forces being balanced or unbalanced. The gradient is decreasing, meaning the acceleration is decreasing. This is because the resultant or net force is decreasing or becoming smaller. We know from Newton's second law, F equals ma, or force equals mass times acceleration. So the force is decreasing, the mass stays the same, meaning that the acceleration must be decreasing too. So to recap, terminal speed is when weight is equal to drag. This is because the resultant force is decreasing. And this is because of Newton's law, F equals MA. So I hope this tutorial video helps, and goodbye.